relaxing game or a big win? Do you need to guard against that when you go up to GWS? Oh, no, no we've just got to make sure. We've spoken, we've spoken about all those sorts of things over the course of the last year and a half. You have to be ready to play each week, and this is no different. We know there's going to be some significant challenges this week in the game. You know, we've got a, a really talented young group coming up against them, a, a foreign ground for us, and also some trying conditions by the sound of it. Have you enjoyed being on top of the ladder? Because I know the footy world's gone crazy since you've hit the top. Yeah, no, look... It's not. Look, it's it's, it's nice that you're sitting there, but it, it's going. It's round six. It's we're actually no different than we were this time last year as far as win loss. So it's it's not that big a deal to us. Look, if it's round 23 and we're sitting there, we'll be much happier. Ken, what about the the conditions? Um, I know it might sound silly, but you haven't played in wet weather footy this year. I don't think. Do you train for that any differently this week? How have you prepared for that? No, it's a little difficult, I suppose, because the, the conditions have all sort of just come at us now and you don't get that opportunity. But look, certainly we'll go up there this afternoon, we'll have a run around this afternoon, we'll get a feel for the ground at least and, you know, and go from it from there. But look, footy's pretty simple. If, if you just keep going pretty hard at the ball and you compete pretty hard and get the ball going our way as much as we possibly can, the conditions will hopefully not be too big a factor. Is it a mental test to go from perhaps the best place to play footy in the AFL at the moment to perhaps the worst? Well, I don't know about the worst, but I know we're playing in the best place here in Adelaide. I think it's, a, it's the greatest stadium in, in the game at the moment. We all love that, but you know, going up to Canberra is really good and exciting for us and a challenge for us to go there and see another ground, but you know, I don't know whether it's the worst place in the world, but it's, uh, you know, we've been up there before plenty of times and the ground's been good and the, the atmosphere's been like an AFL game, so it's, it's exciting to be there still. Players have talked about their rising confidence over the last 12 months, but this year especially. Is it the sort of thing that you're able to see uh, tangibly week by week, you know, their confidence rising? Some, it just grows, that sort of stuff grows with, um, with behaviour, with what they do and how they put it out there every week and, you know, and, they, and they get confidence from that knowing that, but they also are understanding that uh, they know what it takes to get that and that they stick to the task and if they do that, their confidence will grow, but it'll grow because they've worked really hard. Ken, you've made a point, I think, of rotating your subs pretty regularly this year. Is that something you'll probably do again this week? Oh, no, we'll look at it, we'll do it as, uh, as we need to and you know, we'll go through a few things and make sure that everyone's right when we get there. We've, you know, we've had a couple of boys who have been a little bit off during the week so we've just got to be a little bit mindful of that but you know, we, we don't tinker with that. We pick the best sub for the game and that's, that's not, not deliberate, it's just what, we, what the matchups look like and, you know, and who we get at the right time and which player's going to best suit us to come onto the ground at that stage. So you'll take a couple extra? Oh, yeah, we'll take all our emergencies up this week. You know, because we are away and you've got to be just careful that you just never know. And, you know, there's so much stuff goes around at this time of the year and, you know, people get sick overnight. All those little things happen and you've just got to be really well prepared. And I saw a game over in West Coast not that long ago where it happened and, you know, I'm just not prepared to take those risks. Is this Thank your you. best side? Is this your best side? Oh, uh, look, I don't know. It's, it's our best side for this week. There's no doubt about that. We've got uh, Angus back in the side. certainly helps. And, uh, you know, we've still got some really talented players outside the squad. And, uh, you know, your best side's usually the side you pick on that week and uh, for us this is definitely our best side this week. You said the, the depth is looking pretty good in the sample, there's some serious form there. Um, is there any danger in, I mean I know that you guys have been very lucky with injuries as well, but is there any danger in not sort of rewarding form uh, in the sample? First, firstly, we haven't been that lucky with injuries. We've lost Sam Colhoun with a knee, we've lost Jared Redden with a knee, you know, we've had uh, Mason Shaw with a wrist, we've had a lot of players actually get some, and we've had three or four long-term injuries already in our football club, so that's a little bit lost that uh, we actually have had a lot of injuries. Secondly, I don't think you can afford to get complacent if you're playing in the sample, if you want to pursue an AFL career, and that's the simple message to the boys. Keep playing well, keep knocking the door down, and when the opportunity comes, be ready to take it. Was Angus ready last week, do you think, to be played if it was a final? Yeah, he would have. That's a simple answer. He would have played last week. Uh, we made sure that we didn't take any risks with him. Uh, he did a full match simulation training last Saturday, so it was like a game for him. But we just didn't want to take the risk into a game. But, you know, caution was a good thing for us, I think, last week. What did you read on the Giants that had some sort of up and down results, I guess, this year? I'm lucky I've been at a young club, you know, the other franchise club in the Gold Coast. And, you know, I've seen that, that happen. But I also know that, you know, what they don't do in those young clubs is they don't dwell on what's happened last week. They actually do move on really quick. They're young, they're full of excitement and they look forward to their next AFL game. It's really exciting for those players. So they can get up really quickly. They can also have some bad days, which we, we've acknowledged with the, both the young sides. But normally, they don't dwell on things and you can expect that they'll be right at the game this week. Do you go to make a statement there, Ken, or is it just a win a win? Yeah, no, go there to win. That's, that's what we're going there to do and absolutely give our best effort to hopefully get ourselves in front at the end of the game and we come home with a win. Have you felt that with you? I mean, obviously, you guys got a young group as well. Have you felt that your last point about GWS, you feel that with the power? Like in terms of, you know, just 
getting up and forgetting about the week before or whatever? Yeah, I think we, we do a really good job of staying in the moment, and that's what you have to do at AFL clubs. And I, I mean, the, the younger sides are a little bit different. I think they're just excited about playing. Our blokes are really, you know, grounded in, in what they view each week to look like, and it, it's the same. It's got to be hard work in training and, and then really hard performance on the game and then hopefully get a win. Have they got much left to prove to you, do you think? Yep. Yeah, now we've got lots to do. We've got still plenty to. We're still. It's a journey that we're on. We're not. We're not at the end. We're. We're only at the start, and we've still got lots of work to do. And we'll never lose sight of that. Ken, I know you weren't at the club at the time, but the loss a couple of years ago has been pointed out by a lot of people this week. Two years ago to GWS. Yeah. Is that something that burns for a lot of the players? That you know, every you just got to make the most of it while you, while you're winning and get one maybe back on GWS. It's what you. It's what you build it up in your experience bank, isn't it? You go, you go through certain things in your football career in certain times and, and you do have to remind yourself of what happened and when, and when they happened and, and what you learnt from them. And that's what we do every week, I hope, is that we learn from something each week and, you know, we don't lose what we learnt. You know, we played Geelong last year at about round seven or eight and I still think it was one of the best games we had as far as learning things. And, you know, we, we played them again last week and, as I said, after the game, 14 or 15 things I wrote on the board that we want to learn from, you know, we... The GWS experience for some of our boys, they learn from that, I'm sure.